So I probably won't be jogging out with the senior hurling team anytime soon. To be honest, if you'd asked me who was the best person to have played Croke Park in recent years, I'd probably have said Beyonce. <laughs> but what I can tell you is how understanding my clumsy hurling skills can help us to develop treatments for Parkinson's disease. First, imagine this. You're standing at your front door, ready to go in, when suddenly you can't move. Your feet feel glued to the floor. Freezing is one of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, and it can happen without warning. We didn't know why or how to fix it until recently, when psychologists made a fascinating discovery about how to unfreeze the brain. So the part of the brain that controls movement is the motor cortex up here, and it controls two programs that deal with two types of movements, those that are focused on goals and those that are automatic. It's like learning to drive. Do you remember the first time it was so difficult? You're steering the wheel, pressing the accelerator, changing gear. But now, do you even notice? No, your brain is on autopilot. When I picked up this hurl, my motor cortex switched on the program responsible for movements that we have to focus on for goals. I received a ton of information about where to put my hands and where to put my feet. But what if instead we gave this hurl to Henry Shefflin? Because he has done this movement thousands of times, he no longer needs all of that input. His brain just switches on the autopilot program meaning that he could probably continue this conversation while effortlessly flicking that ball up into the back stands and probably breaking your nose. Sorry. But what does this mean for freezing in Parkinson's disease? Well, the brain can sometimes act like a computer with one program broken and the other one working. In Parkinson's disease, the part of the brain that starts to break down is that responsible for the autopilot program. What the psychologist discovered was that if they simply put a line on the ground or rolled a ball in front of the person who was frozen, they would be able to start walking again. Why? Because the line and the ball act as a visual goal for the brain. It's essentially like pressing Control-Alt-Delete on your computer. It tells the brain to ignore the broken autopilot system and instead to restart the system focused on goals, therefore allowing them to walk again. So research like this shows that by examining the complex networks of the human brain, we can start to understand and develop new treatments to help the symptoms of Parkinson's disease that don't respond so well to medication. And that's because the brain, just like a hurling team, usually has a sub on the sidelines ready to take over if the star player gets injured.